Taco Bell, hello. Hello, I was wondering if you still had the volcano taco on the menu. No, no more. No, no more volcano no, taco? No, no volcano taco. Long time. All right, well, thank you so much. Looks like I'm going to have to make it myself. No, I don't, I don't have the salsa. <laughs> Oh, no, no, you're totally fine. Oh, no, it's all good. Thank you so much for the help. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, have a great day. Trevor, do you remember the Volcano Taco? No, no, I don't. <laughs> it came out in 2008. What were you doing in 2008? I would have been eight years old, which is like third grade, so uh, playing a lot of Pokemon. What? Okay, so the Taco Bell Volcano Taco, it was marketed as like the spiciest taco ever created for the mass market, at least. Their whole thing was like, get ready for the good hurt. But that might be why it failed, is that it was too spicy for people. And all the spice came from the lava sauce. This was available on the entire Volcano menu. They would throw this pot and mayonnaise into a burrito, and they say that it was taken off because it couldn't share the menu with the fiery Doritos Locos Taco, but I think I think people back then couldn't handle the lava sauce. I think they couldn't handle the heat. Riddle me this. The Doritos Locos Taco is possibly the greatest fast food creation of all time. That's true. I will true. say that. So is it really worth it to bring it back or just make the Doritos Locos Tacos spicier? I think the lava sauce was the real victim and the volcano taco being taken off the menu. It was actually like pretty spicy. They claimed it had like 800 Scovilles, which is 50% more than their hot sauce, which still isn't like burn your mouth crazy. Yeah. But I think okay. that they need to bring back the lava sauce because I think people are ready for the heat now, man. Yeah. So Trevor, you might be asking me. What is in the volcano taco? You would be asking me that. So the volcano taco had a crunchy red taco shell. But here's the thing, it tasted like nothing. It was just red. So it wasn't the Doritos Locos. It was before it was before they had the scientific technology and will to infuse Doritos into a taco shell. So from Taco Bell, we're using the shredded lettuce, their seasoned beef, which is only 88% meat, which to me is even too high. How old do you estimate that that beef is? <laughs> just just by taste. That's a three-day age. What Taco Bell doesn't have is the crunchy red taco shell and the lava sauce. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on creating. Are you ready to get into it? I'm ready. Let's bring the Volcano Taco back from the future past. Let's bring the Volcano Taco back from the past. Let's bring the Volcano Taco back to the future. Let's take the Volcano Taco and we're gonna put it in a time machine and we're gonna bring it back to Colonial Williamsburg and we're just gonna completely blow everyone's mind. Okay, Trevor, we have to make the crunchy red taco shell. So we're gonna take maseca, right? This okay. is uh, uh, also known as masa harina. So this is basically corn flour, corn flour, corn flour, corn flour. This is basically corn flour that's been treated with lye to break okay. down the kernels. Are that's you familiar with the process of nixtamalization? I don't know, but I was about to say that lye is what they dip the bagels in, yeah? Yeah. Hold that. Okay, so we have the masa harina and we're gonna add our water to it. And then to make it red, we're gonna do the same thing that Taco Bell did, where we take red food dye and we go, it would just a scored lot. a bunch of it in there. And there's no, ex it's just red. Literally just red, there was no flavor. Taco Bell was doing this a lot back in the day where they were just like, we, we put food dye in our taco shells, please eat it. I remember they did something also called the blackjack taco. Mm -hmm. And it was literally just a black taco shell. They put like a jack cheese sauce in it and they're like, blackjack taco, you guys like Vegas, we like Vegas for party guys, <laughs> your party guys eat the blackjack taco. And I found out about the blackjack taco, this is a little humble brag because okay. my girlfriend in high school yeah. You had a uh, girlfriend my, in high school? My first kiss when I was 17, it was lovely. My high school girlfriend, her dad worked in HR for Taco Bell, what? and he would like really? tell me their seasonal releases <laughs> that would come out. Is that why you dated her? Yeah, dude, I went to I went to Taco Bell's new campus opening friends and family event. They had a Stop. they had a nacho cheese fountain. <laughs> Do you realize what a nacho cheese fountain meant to 16-year-old me? And so like that is just the most Josh thing. Like I, there's no surprise at all that you dated a girl and her dad was like some hot shot Taco Bell employee. Oh yeah. I'm just proud that high school you had a girlfriend. I've seen some pictures. Against all odds, high school me had a girlfriend. Okay, so we got our balls rolled up. Okay. So you need to take this in the tortilla press and you're gonna flatten it between wax paper. That's gonna prevent it from this sticking together. Paper? Does that yes. mean I gotta make like a circle? In theory. That looks like it, a tortilla it, to me. It looks like a tortilla. That one might be a little bit dry. We see some cracking at the edges. The way that Taco Bell makes their tortillas, right, is you make like a thin circular tortilla and then you have to put it in something that shapes it and then you deep fry it. Taco okay. Bell is like a whole copyrighted machinery system, but I have something better. The Taco Shaper, $6.99 at Amazon.com. Taco Shaper, not a sponsor. <laughs> Ooh, that's so thin, that's perfect. Do you remember the first time you ever ate at a Taco Bell? Yes, first time I ever ate at a Taco Bell, I would have been six years old. And the regular taco was 59 cents, and the Taco Supreme was, I believe, 79 cents at the time. And it came with sour cream and tomatoes, and I was like, this is grown-up taste. 
This is what grown-ups do. I'm like basically like 30 flirty and thriving as a six-year-old eating tomatoes and sour cream. I can't explain to you how much that Taco Supreme meant to me at the time. All right, let's try pulling this out of the deep fryer. This is looking good. That, I'm excited about this. This looks exactly like the volcano taco shell. It's violently red. That's it's, hard. Ow, whoa, whoa, why would you whoa, touch whoa, it? Whoa, you, I don't know why I touch it. What? Why do I do any of the things I do? <laughs> Just stop touching I'm it. Want, stop I want to touch, touch it. it. Stop touching I, it. I, I, Josh. This is my kitchen. I'm worried about your health. <laughs> it engraves the word taco <laughs> shaper into our Taco Bell tacos. Now they have to sponsor us. Now you have to sponsor us. Your watermark is on our freaking tacos. Thanks for that. We got our taco shells going. We're going to keep making those. Let's move on to some, some sauce, huh? Let's get lost in the sauce. I would like to get lost in the sauce with you. Let's get lost together in the sauce. There's a lot of myths surrounding lava sauce. People say on Reddit that it was like a nacho cheese-based sauce, but that's not true at all. You can tell what Taco Bell sauces are mayonnaise-based by looking at the ingredients. If you see egg yolk and oil, then you know that's a mayonnaise-based sauce. <laughs> Anytime you get this like new spicy jalapeno jack sauce, it's just mayonnaise in your taco. That creamy jalapeno sauce in your quesadilla, that's hot mayonnaise <laughs> coming straight to the dome. The thing that made it cheesy was they used dehydrated cheddar powder. Okay. So the ingredients, and you can find this in the internet archives of what it was, was mostly jalapeno puree. That's red jalapenos, that's what you got. So you're gonna trim the stems off of those, you're gonna throw it in here, and then and I'm gonna blow torch them to roast okay. them. You just want me to cut this off and toss, toss it? Toss it in there, and then I'm gonna blow torch it immediately. So what we're really looking to do is blacken the skin. This is gonna start to cook the pepper, and also it's gonna give it a nice roasty flavor, and then we're gonna shed the skin off later. This is what they do in the back of every single Taco Bell. Okay. We got a designated torch guy, and all we gotta do is puree this up, and we're gonna mix it with our mayonnaise and our cheese. Why is mayonnaise in everything? Yeah, you don't like mayonnaise. I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise, but I love Taco Bell. So. I like that we can be friends even though you don't like mayonnaise, because I, I like inherently don't trust people who don't like maybe, mayonnaise. You know what I think it is? I think it's the idea of mayonnaise by itself. But Once you heat that mayonnaise up with cheese in 83 to 88% beef, yeah. it becomes magical. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to sweat these, which okay. means we're gonna throw it in a Ziploc bag, so if you could just get it right in my pouch. Oh, that's efficient. You want me to get them in there? Yep. Yeah. Are they hot? I don't know. I don't have fingers of steel like you do. Dude, just throw it in the pouch, thank you. And then I'm gonna keep it tucked away, Okay. and then that's gonna let the pepper sweat. So that means that the skin is gonna come off very easily. We're gonna get them in the blender, and then we're gonna finish up our lava sauce. Trevor, okay, the peppers have steamed in my pouch. You see they've gotten all nice and sweaty. So can you just take it, you can see the skin's already starting to fall off. Yeah. All you gotta do oh. is use your hands. You're just gonna just like just just take it off. Yeah, look, it's coming right off. Josh, what is your go-to Taco Bell order? Kobe. So Taco Bell, the entire game changed when they added their online ordering system, and so now <laughs> you can go through and you can substitute and customize. You could have always done that. I know that because my best friend Deep Right, he was vegetarian in high school, and so he would always do the no beef sub beans hack. If you go on their hold, on, keep keep up. No, if I'm you here. go on their online ordering thing, you can just add like potatoes. You can add creamy jalapeno sauce. You can add jalapenos, anything. So I get a Crunchwrap Supreme, and I add potatoes jalapenos, and creamy jalapeno sauce. And then it just becomes this like sphere because there's so much stuff in it with the potatoes that they can't even fold it into a proper hexagon. So it's just like a ball of all the best Taco Bell flavors. Because the <laughs> potatoes, Trevor, the potatoes soak up all the grease from their beef soup. Yeah. And it's beautiful. My go-to is a quesarito and a Doritos Locos taco. I'm gonna puree this stuff. Let's crank it to high. Ah! So we're gonna add a fair amount of that jalapeno puree. Let's see how spicy this is. Okay. It's got a kick. Yeah. That's got a much heavier than Taco Bell kick. So that's gonna yeah. get cut down with a lot of this mayonnaise. Oh and yeah. And we're looking for, it was this like very burnt orange hue of a color and so we're trying to match that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that cheddar powder, dump that in, you want a fair amount. There's gonna be a lot of salt. We didn't salt the puree. The cheddar powder is gonna add the umami. The umami. Cheddar. Taco Bell's got Umami to umami. it. Umami. And then almost everything at Taco Bell has some combination of like onion and garlic powder to it. Yeah. And so we're just gonna add. Oh, we got cayenne too? We got cayenne to adjust the heat level. So cayenne okay. is like pretty much red jalapeno. It's, cayenne pepper is red. Yeah. That's it. I agree. That's the end of that sentence. I agree. Now let's see where we're at. This is what lava sauce looked like. It's got this kind of like pinkish <laughs> orangish hue. All the best tasting sauces on earth are just some sort of pink or orange mayonnaise. Everyone's like, I'm from Utah and fry sauce my favorite. No, in Hawaii we do yum yum sauce. It's all just pink mayonnaise and it's all <laughs> delicious. all mayonnaise. Wake up, sheeple. It's just you're eating orange and pink mayonnaise and it's delicious. All right, let's give that a taste. Trevor, geez, use a spoon. Be civilized. 
get in there. Did you, you taste put the cheese? No. Were you supposed to? Well, I wanted to adjust because mayonnaise yeah. already has acid in it, right? Yeah. And so at Taco Bell, they're probably using citric acid. I'm gonna add a little bit dash of vinegar. I was gonna say, I want some more spice too. I feel you. Okay, cool. A little bit more spice. There we go. Nice. That should be good. Mm. Should we add a little bit of cayenne in there? I think we should add a little yeah. bit of cayenne in there. Just a dash. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. One more taste. It's nice and stodgy, very mayonnaise-y. Uh, there we go. That's lava sauce, man. I have never actually had real lava sauce, so I'm gonna have to trust your judgment here, but it is really good. Ooh, it's spicy too. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> you know what time it is? What time is it, Trevor? Taco time. These are crisp. These actually turned out really good despite yeah. the branding on them. <laughs> Gently spoon in a layer of beef, and then I'm gonna trail you with some of the lava sauce. The How construction many? of these is very important. The lava sauce has to abut the beef. How many grams of beef are we thinking? About 200 grams of beef go into every Taco Bell taco. Wait, is that not a real true. number? <laughs> no, I, just made it up. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he knows that. So lava sauce second. Lava sauce second because then the sauce gets steamed by the beef. Okay. Taco Bell needs to sweat. Yeah. This is something I firmly believe. You can't eat Taco Bell immediately after you get it. You need to let it sweat yeah. for like 15 to 35 minutes <laughs> on your drive home, depending on where you live. Then you get back there and you start eating your first item. You go crunchiest to softest. You put the soft items in the microwave for 25 seconds. You let that sweat even more while you eat your crunchy items. Oh my God, we got volcano tacos. Look, Trevor, we took the volcano taco and we brought it back from 2008. So you could say we brought it back from the past. Which camera? This looks like, like if you look at it from this angle without seeing the taco shaper printing on it, yeah. this looks exactly like the volcano oh, taco. Mine has taco shaper on both sides. <laughs> so we got extra mayonnaise for dipping. I like how you just call it mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise, <laughs> that's what it is, it's orange mayonnaise. I'm gonna do exactly how I would have prepared each bite okay. when I was 16 in 2008. Teach me. First, grab the fire sauce packet. Okay. Rip it open with your teeth. And you're gonna try and spit it in your cup holder because you're in your car. <laughs> there it is. All right, now you're gonna go okay. like about a half a packet. <laughs> Cock your head. Whoa. That's a flavor that takes me all the way back oh, here. Man. Are you feeling the heat? Yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell that, but I hope my, eye, my glasses don't fog up or anything. Oh my God, that's delicious. Trevor. That's so good. Do you think Taco Bell needs to bring this back? Definitely a lava sauce. I mean, the yeah. red shell is like, give or take, but put this in a Doritos Locos taco and I'm, I'm there way too many times a week. Now that they have the technology to Doritos Locos fi a taco shell, they need to take the flaming Hot and they need to add the lava sauce to it. And if they do that, that will be the Taco Bell item to break the internet harder than Kim K ever could have. Oh, like with the, with the, with the, Okay, I'm sorry, I'm taking this back. That was weird. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of Taco Bell's discontinued verde sauce to taco, and if you wanna see how to make that, head over to Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen. We got the full breakdown there. And if you think Taco Bell should bring this back, tweet at Taco Bell with hashtag past food. And thank you for joining us in the Mythical Kitchen. We got new past food episodes on Tuesdays and new recipes every Thursday. And don't forget to check out a hot dog as a sandwich on Wednesdays, wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes. We'll see you next time. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron, available now at mythical.com.